it's nice to meet you. Hi, it's nice to meet you too. So where are we and who are you? We're here at the Mayo Road entrance of Shanghai Pinha School. My name is Oliver and I'm here to introduce you to our school today. Great. The campus seems really new and I love the grass designs here. Yeah, I love the grass design as well. The grass can be used for many different purposes and one of the most unique uh, is purposes recently is that students can sign up for live performances. So at lunchtime, uh, students and teachers can watch their performance while having lunch. Yeah, it's actually a very fun experience. Hi, Oliver. Hi, Jessica. I see students wearing all kinds of clothes. Can you not wear the school uniform? Um, actually, there are three options for what we choose to wear at school. So first is the standard school uniform. The second one is the student design hoodies that we can also wear at all times. And the third option is the cast t-shirt or the cast hoodie. Actually, Jessica just passed by and she was wearing the cast hoodie. What do you think is the most important thing or the most special thing about Pink um, I believe the most special thing about Pinghe is the diversity. Uh, students in Pinghe really explore all kinds of academic fields and hobbies. And uh, the school provides us with a lot of different platforms that we can uh, showcase these hobbies. So yeah, the school really encourages us to, to embrace diversity. What are some clubs in Pinghe? There are a lot of different clubs. Um, I believe there are some new clubs this semester, like the uh, D3 Design Club, the Debate Club, and... Yeah, all kinds of clubs. Where are we? So we're here at the high school theater. What are some of the, the events that happen here in the theater? Mm, yeah, there is orchestra performance, drama festival, uh, speech uh, competition. There is also debate competition. Cool, so I heard that there was a debate competition yesterday. Yeah, that's true. Actually, speaking of the debate competition, I was a debater last night. Wow, what did you debate about? Yeah, our debate topic was about whether or not people had the freedom to express their bias. It's actually a very interesting uh, topic with lots to explore, and I had a fun time last night. Mm. Uh, you mentioned something about seminars. What are they usually about? Yeah, so these seminars are organized by students. So um, students with their unique hobbies or interests can go on stage and express their thoughts uh, through speech. The school also invites celebrities outside of school to come to the high school theater and give speeches. What are some celebrities that you've seen on campus? Um, yeah, um, in the past uh, several years, we had uh, basketball players from the NBA. We had people who graduated from Pinghe that now become filmmakers or um, uh, football coaches. Yeah, really all kinds of celebrities from different fields. Great. Um, are there any music related clubs or groups in Pinghe? Yes. Um, there's the orchestra, obviously, I've mentioned that already. And there's a singing choir, um, there is this a cappella group, a cappella club. Um, there is also musical theater club. And for me personally, I'm a part of the hip hop club where we discuss knowledge behind lyrics. Wow. So, what's down there? Yeah, so down there on my left hand side, you can see the high school gym. And if you go through that um, uh, basement, you can see uh, there are band rooms where student bands can rehearse. And there's also a theater exhibition hall where theater classes take place. So what usually goes on in the gym? Yeah, um, all kinds of sport activities, um, basketball, badminton. But besides that, the most interesting, uh, we also hold other activities there, such as um, uh, the college beer, such as the jumble party. What is a jumble party? Oh, so the jumble party is a special event here at Pinghe High School. It is organized by students, and so um, it happens at the end of each year in late December. So students can sign up for performances. They can sing or dance or rap or beatbox, whatever they like. And um, yeah, students can uh, showcase their talents and hobbies. So it is sort of like the Pinghe way of saying goodbye to the old year and welcoming a new year. Sounds amazing. On a scale of 1 to 10, how attractive is the school uniforms? I would say like a 6 to a 7. It's not a really that attractive, but you know, it's comfortable and attractive enough for us to wear on a daily basis. I think. Is this where you usually have your meals? Yes. Uh, we have the cafeteria here. How is the food? I heard Pinghe has one of the best meals in Pinghe. That's true. Uh, Pinghe food is quite famous among Shanghai International Schools. What is your personal favorite dish from the cafeteria? Oh, there's so many to choose from. I would say um, the Pinghe marinated uh, duck with soy sauce is my personal favorite. Wow, there's a lot of stairs. Are stairs the only way to the upper floors? 
Uh, no, actually we have the elevator as well, but the elevator is reserved for teachers and students who are injured. So yeah, for students, uh, stairs is the only way uh, that, uh, that is allowed for us to go to the upper stairs. Are there any other school regulations like not taking the elevator? Oh yeah, there are uh, a lot besides that. We have this booklet that outlines all the school regulations, but you know, there's nothing too excessive because uh, Pinga really embraces uh, diversity and values students' uh, freedom, so um, the, uh, the school does not want to restrain us too much. Do you think Pinga is an artsy, nerdy, or sporty school? Uh, I would say a combination of all three. Yeah, we're really exploring all fields, arts, uh, academics, and sports. Hey Oliver. Hey Jessica. 